Here's how yeast infection can affect your periods. Vaginal yeast infections are becoming more and more common by the day. They are typically characterized by a burning sensation during urination, thick white discharge, itching in and around the area and a painful sensation during intercourse. Primarily, yeast infection is caused due to the lack of regulation of good bacteria. First, to know how yeast infection can affect your periods, you should be aware of the facts. Although some people believe that yeast infection can cause a delay in the menstrual cycle, no proven medical deductions are confirming the same. Therefore, factually, yeast infections are not known to be responsible for affecting the schedule of your monthly periods in any way. However, if you get your periods during a yeast infection, it might amount to severe discomfort. Periods bring hormonal changes in the body, which results in alteration of the pH of the vagina. In such cases, a yeast infection can aggravate. Also, yeast infections are known to multiply in excessively moist surroundings. When you have your periods, keeping the vaginal area dry might be a challenge. You will need to wash every time you change your sanitary pad thoroughly. Therefore, the area is likely to remain wet for most parts of the day. Also, the blood flow keeps the area moist. Yeast infection during this time can thus make it much more painful and difficult to manage. However, vigilant hygiene practices can help you to deal with it to a certain extent. One of the best ways of treating vaginal yeast infections is by applying antifungal creams on the designated area. Although this is a painless and straightforward procedure generally, during periods, local application of the medication might turn out to be a messy affair. Plus, it could prove to be painful as well. Although internal medicines can also be administered for treating yeast infections, they are known to exhibit slow response. Wear cotton underwear, try wearing cotton underwear to avoid itching and burning sensation. Cotton cloth can relieve discomforts of yeast infection too. Avoid wearing panty liners that can increase the risk of resuming the yeast infection. Yeast needs a moist environment to grow. Therefore, you must keep your body dry to prevent the disease. Avoid tightly fitting clothes. Avoid wearing tight fitting clothes, like pants or shorts. This will help you to stay cool and dry. Avoid nylon or synthetic. You must altogether avoid wearing nylon pantyhose or synthetic leotards every day. If you still want to wear them opt for the ones that have a cotton panel to absorb moisture. Don't stay in wet clothes for long, you must try to spend less time inside wet gym gears or swimsuits. Wearing wet clothes can give enough damp space for the yeast to grow. Avoid scented tampons or powders, you must avoid the use of scented powders or tampons as they contain chemicals that can upset the natural balance of good bacteria and several other microorganisms. You must also prevent douching if you are already suffering from yeast infection. It can spread the infection through the cervix into the uterus. Have control over blood sugar level, if you have diabetes, Try to manage your blood sugar levels to reduce the risk of yeast infection. A high blood glucose level due to beyond control diabetes can lead to all kinds of infections. Check your medication. There are chances that you may suffer from vaginal yeast infection due to the antibiotics that you take. Consult your physician about preventive antifungal therapy that you can make at the beginning until the end of your medication course.